Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode in the Junk Journal With Me series. As usual, I'm just finding a page in my journal to work on. In today's episode, I just have some photographs from a day in May 2019 that I'm going to be documenting. So I'm going to be using double sided tape on three of the sides of this photograph and creating a pocket. I pulled out some items from my stash that I thought I might like to use and I choose this project life card and I'm going to be using it to create a flip out page. And I'm going to be using some empty washi tape that I got for my birthday to adhere that to the page. So this photograph is a picture of my husband and I and a picture of the box that we got our chips in for lunch. We went to Salt and Malt at Wapping Wharf in Bristol, but I will be sticking those photos down a little bit later. And this photo is a picture of our dinner. It's a tomato and basil risotto and it was really nice. I'm just placing a book under the Project Life card just to make it a little bit easier to stick that photo down and I'm sticking all of my photos down with double-sided tape. So coming back to these two photos, I'm going to be sticking a photo of my husband and I down at the top of the Project Life card. We did sit outside, it didn't rain, it was just a little bit cold and windy and it's just so nice to sit and eat chips outside. I'm going to be backing the salt and malt photograph just on some blue scrapbook paper because I just wanted it to pop out of the page a little bit more. I have a photograph of my cat Starbuck and I'm going to be using double sided tape to put that on a small project life card and I'm going to be slipping that into the pocket that I created at the beginning. And I've got a wallpaper scrap here. I've not used any wallpaper in my journal and I've been dying to use some for ages. So I decided that I wanted to create a little tab to pull down to pull the flip out page. Um, originally I was going to have it at the top, but naturally when I go to pull the flip out page down, I actually pull it from the side. So I do actually attach it to the side and I do trim it down a little bit more as well. I'm going to be using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to attach that to the flip out page. And I'm going to be choosing a new wallpaper scrap to add to the smaller Project Life card. And I just trim it down a little bit. And I'll be using the Tiny Attacher to staple that to the Project Life card too.
and I'm going through the Maggie Holmes Crepe Paper Sticker Book and I'm going to be finding a free sticker to put at the top of the photograph and that's going to say Happy Smiling Faces but I decide that I want a little label to put that onto as well. I've also added a little heart sticker just to cover up the man that was behind both of our heads. And I add a little bird sticker because there's always birds flying around when you have chips. I also did a little bit of journaling on the bottom of the Project Life card. Luckily I didn't have to do too much journaling because I posted this on Instagram last year and I'd already highlighted all the points of the day. And I'm a bit out of frame here but I'm just sticking a couple of arrow stickers and a sticker that says happy heart. And I do write on the back of this project life card a little bit later, I just do it off camera. And I'm actually finding some gold alphas and I'm going to be writing Starbuck. You'll see me write star and then I actually remove them all and replace them all down. And that's because I didn't leave enough room to write Starbuck fully. So yeah, I end up doing that off camera as well because when I pulled up the S it left some of the sticker adhesive on the photo and I needed to get that off. For some reason, Starbuck likes to try and get in the dining room after we've eaten, so I really like that photo of him. And I'm just choosing an illustrated doily from the Etsy shop Little Bindi. I'm choosing between these two, and I really love the orange one, but it was just a little bit too big. So I go with the slightly smaller grey-green one. I'm just using a glue stick to glue that down to the page and I'll be trimming off the little bit at the top too. I get out my Versafine black ink pad and a date roller stamp and I'm going to be stamping 5th of May 2019 on the top of the doily but I'm just testing it out to make sure I've got the right date and that I'm not applying too much ink. And I'm just wiping off the excess ink on a bit of scrap paper. And these are the finished pages. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.